everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this short video, I want to bring to your attention um, a prescription that I dealt with while I was locuming um, that had uh, slow potassium on it. And apparently, um, slow K, so uh, that's the name of the product, um, is getting... Um, pharmacists, when they're in a rush, they kind of... Uh, tend to think that uh, slow K is the same with slow sodium. And um, when you're in a rush and maybe the, the technician collects slow sodium and brings it over, they're both 600. So slow K 600 and slow sodium 600, you kind of in a rush, you can mix it up. And I actually know, uh, personally know of a Portuguese pharmacist uh, working in Dublin. Um, I think it was two or three years ago that um, it happened that uh, he he dispensed slow sodium and slow instead of slow K. Um, and obviously that messed up the, the heart rhythm for that particular patient. So for, for a full month, the, that patient got uh, slow sodium and slow instead of slow K. Um, and um, yeah, they, they ended up taking him to court. I don't know if they settled in any way or um, but it, it, it ended up, you know, being a mistake on his side, uh, a simple mistake that could have easily been, um, prevented, but it did happen. And, uh, the reason I think it's happening more and more often is because, um, I was working in a pharmacy the past week and they actually have a register where they, um, write in every tablet of slow K and every tablet of slow sodium um just like the control drugs uh that have their own register uh be because that way they can track exactly who dispensed you you would have to sign every tablet of slow k and of slow sodium that you dispensed um so they can easily track if there's a mistake happening and the patient is taking the wrong medication uh they can easily track it so um it, it was the the same in my case when like you can say how 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 can this happen as a, how can this mistake happen when you're busy in the dispensary and uh, the technician collects slow sodium uh, 600 you can easily go on the prescription and say oh slow so slow case slow sodium and you're just in a rush and you say 600 600 yeah they're both the same um that was the case where when i worked in that in that pharmacy um the technician actually collected slow sodium uh, and I had to correct her and say, no, this is sodium. I need slow K, slow potassium. Um, and then uh, she, she collected the other, the, the correct uh, medication and we, we, we dispensed the correct stuff, but it could have ended up being an error if I hadn't paid attention. So I wanted to bring it to your attention. So if you're ever in, in a situation like this, you would be fully aware of, um the potential for a mistake here so these are the two products this is the slow k 600 um you can see it's all in i believe it's german because it's not licensed in ireland ireland being a small country uh, a lot of medication uh, that is not you know usual medication taken by many many patients if there are only a few patients on it 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 uh, doesn't make um uh, sense for the manufacturer to spend a lo whole lot of money um, to get uh, a market authorization for the Irish market. So they are getting imported from countries where they already have um, a market um, authorization. So um, you will have a lot of languages that you might not understand on them. Uh, so slow K is this in this case, I believe is brought in from Germany and this is the slow sodium tablets. So this, these, uh, can, um, very, very easily be, be, um, collected off the shelf in one instead of the other. Uh, and the technician can, or even the pharmacist can grab them from, from the shelf, um, and just mistake them for, for one another when they're in a rush. Uh, I didn't think uh, it was a 
a big deal. I thought it was an isolated mistake, um, the one that I personally know of. But um, seeing the, that this particular pharmacy where I went had a register for these two medications, which, which are basically um, just supplements, really, um, made me think that uh, this mistake is ap happening more and more often. Um, so I decided to bring it to your attention so um, that you would be aware and uh, you could um, avoid uh, making making a mistake that could ultimately end up messing the the patient's heart rate um, as these these two are almost uh, opposite to each other. Um, so if if I wasn't clear enough in the video, leave leave a comment and I will try to um, explain uh, as best as I can. But for the most part, you should know that um, there's there's a, a, a potential for a mistake whenever you dispense slow K and uh, or slow sodium. So don't mix them one with the other. Uh, um, be very careful. And um, I will leave you with um, an explainer video, as you possibly have seen in my videos. Uh, at the end of every video, I leave an explainer video of only two minutes long that uh, shows you how um, my company, Camic Recruitment, can help you um, get a job in Ireland and train you in the process of registering with the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland. So you get free training, you get an awesome job, you get support from all of our community of pharmacists that are uh, in Ireland or that are getting ready to come to Ireland. So uh, enjoy the explainer video and I will see you in the next video. God bless you. There is a shortage of community pharmacists in Ireland. The main factor for the shortage is that Ireland is not training enough pharmacists to suit its needs. The shortage is being addressed in different ways, among which are proposals to create a new school of pharmacy and thus create more college places. But even if that was approved, it would take six years to start producing pharmacists. The solution that would produce faster results would be international recruitment. But pharmacy systems are different in every country and pharmacists need time and training to adapt. That's not a perfect fit for pharmacists or employers. And the perfect fit is the very thing that inspired the founding of Kamik Recruitment. In the Inuit language, Kamik means perfect fit. So here at Kamik Recruitment, we decided to address this shortage by creating our own school of pharmacy. The founder of Kamik Recruitment is a pharmacist practicing in Ireland after relocating from Romania. After going through the relocating process in a classic way, he decided that he would change international recruitment as we know it by integrating teaching with recruitment. He personally teaches the European pharmacists that decide to practice in Ireland everything they need to know. Kamik Recruitment has launched a campaign called Pharmacists for Ireland where pharmacists from all over Europe are being recruited and trained in the Irish pharmacy system. Now, pharmacists can be trained while they're in the process of registering with the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, so by the time they arrive in Ireland, they're confident and empowered to start working. Now that's a perfect fit for pharmacists and employers. Kamik Recruitment. We find the perfect fit for you.